claps at that. That, like, that was a terrible joke. There's truth to this. Like, a lot of fucking Chinese people don't give a shit, or a lot of, like, um, people that aren't immigrants in the country, in the United States, like, yeah, of course they don't give a shit about fucking cultural appropriation. Why the fuck would they care? Like, yeah. You know who does care, though? Like, fucking Chinese people living in America. Like, Chinese Americans. They're not just Chinese Americans. Literally fucking all Asians. They give a shit. That's the point. Okay? And there are ridiculous fucking takes. Like, you can't wear a kimono sweaty. You are fucking appropriating my cultural blah, 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 blah. Like, that sort of shit is dumb. Okay? It goes way too fucking far. Uh, Tumblr politics is ridiculous. But in this situation, like, this is not the end-all be-all of politics. Why the fuck are you hyper-focusing on this idiotic shit when no one should give a fuck about Dr. Seuss? And no one really does give a fuck about Dr. Seuss. The reason why China's been able to do all this is because they don't give a fuck about Dr. Seuss. Like, that's the whole point, okay? That's why. So, the thing that he's right about is, like, we as an American people are too preoccupied with culture war bullshit. But he himself is too preoccupied with culture war bullshit all the fucking time. Especially if you are not following up on who gives a fuck about Dr. Seuss. Shut the fuck up. Let's make some high speed rail. God damn it. And here's how you do it. If you don't follow that take up with the reason why we can't f create high speed rail in this country is a consequence of uh, wealthy benefactors that do not want there to be a legitimate infrastructure for public transit. Uh, car manufacturers, oil and gas manufacturers, uh, oil and gas extractors. These are the reasons why we can't have this. And uh, the only way to uh, fight back against this is to organize and push against your politicians to make sure that they remember that you ultimately vote for them and that their their uh, coffers will be lined up by those uh, very same large businesses. But you won't fucking vote for them and you'll primary them out. Like, we need some sort of organization. That is a part that never comes because Bill Maher doesn't give a fuck about making change. The only reason why uh, he's bringing this up is so he can use it as a talking point against the Dr. Seuss shit. China sees a problem and they fix it. They build a dam. We debate what to rename it. Literally only the conservatives are talking about those two issues. You're fucking delusional if you think that, by the way. That's not true. Conservatives do not give a fuck about infrastructure. They never have. You have been suckered into believing that they care about anything beyond just, uh, you know, making money for their daddies. It, it, you, you are no different than a Trump supporter if you legitimately believe the conservatives give a fuck. Like, you think liberals are ridiculous, delusional for believing that, like, uh, you know, the Democratic Party genuinely cares about racism or some shit? You are just as delusional if you think Republicans give a single shit. That's why their airports look like this and ours look like this. In San Francisco, it took 10 years. He means Dr. Seuss, you himbo? Wait, what? Oh, 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 okay. Sorry. You meant Dr. By the way, when I say this shit, people fucking freak out and say, I am the number one China defender. I love the CCP. And, uh, you know, when I say that, Everyone loses their minds, but he's completely correct. China is fucking owning uh, the entire world. A problem. Like, what? No, I'm sorry. If you go to a Chinese college, actually, the only thing you learn is work in, uh, work in mine uh, and, and uh, you know, factory. That's what they're teaching in China, in the Chinese colleges. Like, yeah, I'm sure there's some fucking dumbass, uh, or not even dumbass. Like, I'm sure there's fucking... Crazy, like, higher-level courses in China, too. Like, uh, in, in Chinese colleges. What kind of fucking idiotic take is this? Ay ay ay! I just don't fucking understand uh, how you can make an argument like this. It's just an old man getting upset at the clouds over and over again. The only thing he's uh, correct with his comparison, the only, the only correct comparison with uh, how things are in China and how different it is in America, is the, uh, the standardized testing. When he talks about standardized testing, he's correct. The, uh, if, to my knowledge, uh, China does not fuck around or Chinese culture does not fuck around with standardized testing. As a matter of fact, it's, uh, it's a cultural, um, it, it is literally like a, like a, like a cultural footprint that is very different than Western meritocracy, which is overall fake. But in China, as a consequence of standardized testing, 
and as a consequence of fucking uh, working hard or whatever, you can literally uplift your family, or at least in older uh, Chinese culture, you could you had the capacity of uplifting your family if you demonstrated value within the school system and straight up go from being a peasant to uh, a higher level of government, or at least work for uh, someone in a higher level of government. So uh, that still is a um, that still is a is a, uh, a cultural remnant and surviving the coming zombie apocalypse. Those are real, and so is China, and they are eating our lunch. And believe me, in an hour, they'll, they'll be hungry again. Oh, God.